So hey guys, so welcome to another Warframe video and since a lot of people have been asking about this, we're going to farm the new Nox unit. Now why would we want to farm these? Well just in case you didn't read the title, they are the only mobs in the game that drop the aviator mod and the toxin resistance aura, you cannot get these two mods in any other way. They also drop guardian and stretch which are not the easiest mods to farm but you're far better farming guardian in the void because it drops from drones and the containers and if you want to farm stretch it's far better to do either for it which is the invasion boss if he's available or do high level corpus defense because it can drop from ospreys and also as a reward from the defense itself. Now since the Nox is a Grenier unit we are obviously going to have to do Grenier missions but the missions also have to be above level 15 and I'm almost 100% sure that the mission has to start above level 15 because I did a couple of 30 minute runs on Draco where the enemies start at level 13 and they're level 15 within the first 6 or 7 minutes and I didn't get a single Nox in there. Also I just quickly want to say that I do all of these missions solo so it's kind of like a worst case scenario for you and you're gonna get far better results if you're running with a party and I do that because that way there's at least some kind of consistency between the runs. Now since the Nox is not a mission specific unit you will get them to spawn in basically every mission type and every mission that's above level 15 if you do it enough. But that doesn't mean that every mission has the same ratio of time spent versus Nox units killed. So the best mission type to go for is unsurprisingly survival. And I chose the mission Titan on Saturn where the enemies start at level 21. And the reason why I chose this mission is very simple, it's the lowest level survival mission that will spawn the new Nox unit. And this is very important because they are in the same group as Bombards and Napalm, so they don't spawn for the first 8 minutes, but once they start spawning, they don't stop. So if you're extracting every 15 or 20 minutes because you're being peppered by slash procs, heat procs, puncture procs and now bloody toxin procs, you are wasting 8 minutes every time you do that. So just try to stay there as long as possible and you're gonna get plenty of Noxes to spawn. However, be a little bit careful because it seems like they went for a little bit of a sadistic way of spawning them because they seem to spawn in with napalms and bombards and that's pretty bad because the Noxes are a pain train. They have a charge move that knocks you down and if that happens near a high level napalm, you may die. Especially if they proc a toxin proc on you at the same time, which will happen if you broke their helmet. This is why I once again recommend Titan on Saturn, because if you go to Sedna, by the time they start spawning, they are already level 40 and it's not going to take long before they're 50 or even 60. Now you can do defense if you prefer it to survival, but I would only recommend doing it if you have a good party that can blast through the waves really quickly. So we have something like a Quaking Banshee or Spore Sarin or maybe even Cataclysm Limbo because you're not going to get any Noxes to spawn until wave 10 and only one or two of them are going to spawn based on your party size. They do start spawning more after that but just like with survival every time you extract and come back you will have to get through the first 9 waves where you're not gonna get a single one. So if you're sick of survival and you just want to do defense do Helen on Saturn which is the lowest level Grenier defense mission where Noxes will spawn. And finally if you just want to have a chill run and you don't care about efficiency too much so you don't mind killing like 2 or 3 Noxes every 6 or 7 minutes, do Thon on Ceres. This is the lowest level mission in the game that can spawn Noxes, they spawn here at level 15, so they're not that dangerous. Now if you follow my instructions, you will always get at least one Nox, but most of the time you will get two and sometimes you will get three. So if you don't rush the objective too much, you will usually get one Nox on your way to the reactor. And I'm not sure if he just didn't spawn when I was rushing the objective or I just missed him because it's pretty easy to miss a unit that looks like a part of the environment if you're just bullet jumping through it. Then you want to make sure that you're using one of the coolant cells and you're not using the cell that's next to the reactor because this will trigger the decay process. And guess who spawns right around the 60 to 70 percent mark? There he is! Another Nox. I think this one is scripted to come out right around the 60 to 70 percent mark because it happened every single time I did this. This also has the added benefit of not having to hack the console to open up the blast door and most of the time you're also gonna get another Nox on your way to the extraction for a total of three Noxes if you get lucky, two if you get a little bit unlucky and one if you are really unlucky. Also if you stay there after you do the reactor sabotage, assuming of course you do not get the detonation countdown, you will get more Noxes to spawn if you run around from room to room forcing more enemy spawns, though this does take some time so it's probably better to extract and do the mission again. And that's pretty much all I have for Nox farming, so I thank you very much for watching guys as always, I hope the video was helpful, I wish you good luck when farming these new Nox units and I will see you next time, bye bye.